let's talk about the role of the center fielder. So the center fielder has the largest area in the outfield to cover because they need to also cover, you know, right center and left center and make sure they get to those spots. But just like with any other position, the center fielder needs to be moving whenever the ball is thrown. Take your two steps in. Be ready for the ball to be hit to you. If it's not hit to you, you need to get yourself into position. So if a ball is hit up towards the second baseman, the center fielder needs to rotate along with the right fielder to back up the second baseman. If the ball is hit to the shortstop, the center fielder needs to rotate along with the left fielder in order to put yourself into position. Now, even if the ball is not hit to one of these two positions, the center fielder still needs to rotate in order to get into position. So if the ball is hit to the third baseman, again, the center fielder is gonna be moving that way anyway, along with the left fielder, but the center fielder's main goal is to get into a spot here in order to be the backup in case the ball is thrown or overthrown by the third baseman because the third baseman is going to throw it to the first baseman the right fielder is going to come and back up just in case and if the ball is overthrown the right fielder is going to get it and if our runner is running and trying to go for you know the extra base what we're going to have is the second baseman should have rotated over because the ball is hit to that side. So the second baseman is going to rotate over. But the right fielder throws it and hopefully gets the runner out. But if it over or goes over the second baseman, our center fielder is in place to be able to back up that throw. Now, that does not, again, happen if you're just sitting there or standing there watching the play. Everybody needs to be moving on the play. We don't want to give other teams extra bases because we're not in position. It's not that hard for the center fielder to go and get into position to be able to foresee this play. Now, hopefully, out of 10 or you know, 99 out of 100 times, you're not going to need to be in that position, but that one out of 100 times, we want you in that position in order to successfully make the play. Because again, like I've said in other videos, that is how teams score extra runs, by us not being in proper position when the ball is put into play. Another area that the center fielder needs to do, and again, this seems pretty, pretty uh, self-explanatory or simple, but the center fielder needs to get the throw from the catcher if someone is trying to steal. Now, obviously in this diagram, the center fielder is in position, they would just have to move up a little bit to field the throw in case it got, gets past the second baseman or the shortstop, whoever's covering. But depending on our alignment, the center fielder might be in place over here if we have the center fielder and the left fielder kind of cheating to the left field side or the center fielder might be playing you know cheating to the right field side depending on who's up to bat no matter where you are the center fielder needs to get into place in order to back up the throw from a steal now this doesn't mean getting on the dirt right behind the second baseman or the shortstop. This means probably about a 10 to 15 foot difference or gap between where the second baseman is or the shortstop. The separation between the backups should be about 10 to 15 feet. Again, it makes no sense to have the center fielder and the shortstop standing in the same vicinity, meaning within the same five feet of the ball being thrown. Because then it's more than likely you're gonna either get in each other's way 
for the ball is going to go over your heads or through your legs and then they're going to pick up another base. The other responsibility of the center fielder or any outfielder for that matter is to make sure they hit the cutoff. So if we have a ball hit here and the center fielder goes to get the ball, the shortstop should be coming out to get the cutoff for that throw to the second baseman who has rotated over to second base. Now the job or the main role of the center fielder is to get to that ball as quickly as possible and then throw it in to hit the cutoff. That does not mean pick it up and run it in. That means get the ball, pick it up, turn around, see your cutoff man, shortstop should be in position, and then throw it a strike to the chest area of that person so that they can then catch it and throw it in the relay to get the person out wherever it may be. Now it might be that there's a person on first or the person's going for third. No matter which way it is, we're going to make sure that we hit the cutoff and that we are successful in getting to the ball as quickly as possible, picking up the ball, stepping and throwing it to our cutoff. Because if you hit the cutoff, the ball is going to get there a lot quicker than if you throw it over the person's head and then they bounce and it kind of rolls to wherever it's going. So we need to make sure that no matter what position we are in the outfield, we hit the cutoff person.